What is going on guys? It is me again. And this is going to be a vicious update for November 18th, 2017. And I got a few pretty good tapes today, so we're just going to get started. So here we go. Alright, so let's just get started. First up is the one clamshell I got. This is a universal tape from 2000. This is the 2000 VHS of The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus. Based on the book by L. Frank Baum, the author of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Yep, and since Christmas, since Christmas is coming up, I do want to get more Christmas movies for my collection. So, here's another one. So, yeah. Here's the spine and the back. Yep. Featuring the voice talents of Robbie Benson as young Santa Claus, Dixie Carter as Nis as Nisili, and Hale Holbrook as Ack. Yep. Here's the tape of the sticker label. And this was put in the 42nd week of 2000. I do, I do not know if this has the Macrovision logo at the end. It, it might. So there you go. Okay. Up next I got... The next three tips I got are in the smaller, uh, smaller plastic cases. The one that, the ones that, you know, look like this. Yes, yeah, they're in those kind of cases. So this first one is a 20th Century Fox widescreen series tape. The Night's Night 8 widescreen series VHS of The Longest Day. Yep. In, including 42 international stars. Yep. This is the day that changed the world when history held its breath. Yep. And of course it's uh, digitally THX mastered. Most, like most of the, thing, pretty, think pretty much all the uh, 20th Century Fox widescreen series tapes are THX mastered. Here's the spine and the back. It says... A solid and stunning war epic says Variety. And this is a 1962 film renewed in 1990. So yeah. Sticker label. Put it in the 29th week of 1998. And there is a little bit of mold on this tape, unfortunately. Hopefully the tape will still play okay, but with some minor damage. So, yeah. And the other two tapes I got in the small plastic cases are both Anchor Bay tapes. Anchor Bay Collector's Edition tapes. This first one's a Night's Night 8 VHS of Prizzy's Honor. with Jack Nicholson, Kathleen Turner, and Angelica Houston. Yep. Outrageously entertaining, a daring, deliciously demented comedy, says People. And it's a widescreen presentation. Here's the spine and the back. Yep. S shrewd and entertaining, one of Jack Nicholson's boldest performances. Director John Huston has never offered more slightness and style, says Time. So, yeah. Sticker label, and no print on this tape. And here's what the reverse side of the artwork looks like. Yep. Pause the just pause the video if you want to read that. So there you go. And the other, and the other Anchor Bay collector's edition tape I got is a 
2000 VHS of All Creatures Great and Small with Simon Ward, Anthony Hopkins, and Lissa Harrow, based on the book by James Harriet. Rich period piece says Leonard Moulton, digitally mastered. Yep, I do, I do know there was also a BBC uh, TV series based on this movie as well. Here's the side and the back. Yep. Features our full frame presentation, theatrical trailer, and digitally mastered for Ottoman Picture and Sound. This film is from 1975. So, yeah. Ink label. No print date. There are, there are, there is this, there are these printings on the top, but there's, n there's not, there's never a print date on these, but it does have, th but it does have that on the top. So yeah, and here's the inside cover for this one. If you want to read any of this info, just pause the video real quick as I as I quickly go by it. So yeah. So there you go. Okay. Now to the slip cover tapes I got. This first one is a Night High 9 VHS by Universal. This is Andrew Lloyd Webber, the Royal, the Royal Albert Hall Celebration. A Night of a Thousand Stars says the Independent. Yep. It's got a ton of people there. Filmed live at the Royal Albert Hall, London. Yeah. I thought this one looked interesting, so I figured I'd just get it. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. Features highlights from Phantom of the Opera, Cats, Evita, and Sunset Boulevard. Produced for the stage for the really useful theater company in support of the National Youth Music Theater. Yeah. It's two, two hours and six minutes. And this tape was in the shrink wrap when I got it, but it was already starting to come up from the bottom, so I just took it out of the shrink wrap. Just took the rest of it off. Sticker label, and printed in the eighth week of 2001. So this is a later, so this is a later printing. I think there, I, I think there may have, I think there was an older release of this that came in a small plastic uh, clamshell. I think. I could I could be wrong about that. This next one is from Regency Home Video. This is an, this is another copy of the best Christmas pageant ever. Uh, the the reason why I got another copy of this film is because my other copy, a part of the film was taped over, unfortunately, on my other copy. But I tested this one out today, and this copy is perfectly fine. No, this copy is actually, this copy is not taped over, so that's good. So this, so I had, so I got this to replace my other copy, which I will donate, because only about a couple, only a couple seconds of the uh, film got taped over on my other copy. But I'm, but I'm glad to have a copy that's not recorded over now. Over 1,400,000 books sold. Yep, a delightful Christmas story. Sides top and the back. A delightful Christmas story becomes a home video feature your family will treasure forever. Touching and funny, it's starting to become a classic, says Tampa Tribune Times. Children will love the best Christmas pageant ever, says Chicago Tribune. Yep. The program itself is from 1986 and is 60 minutes, so it's one hour. Here's the tape with the very red colored uh, sticker label and no print date. 
This copy, unlike my other copy, this copy does not have the recording tab, thankfully. Yeah, my, my other copy did have the recording tab on it, which was, which probably explains how it got taped over. But thank you, this one does not have the recording tab. So, yeah. This next one, you guys are going to like this. This is, this is a pretty rare tape that I found. This is a 2001 New Line Edited for Family Viewing VHS. This is the Edited for Family Viewing VHS of The Bachelor with Chris O'Donnell and Renee Zellweger. 1,000 Brides, $100 million. Jimmy Shannon is about to discover the true value of love. Yep. The quintessential date movie says Star Tribune. And it has the Family Edited... Come on, focus. See? Family edited right there. Yep. This is now my second edited for family viewing VHS. The first one being Blast from the Past. There were a couple other ones. There were a couple other of these as well. I, th I know uh, which, which were uh, The Mask and Lost in Space. And possibly a few other ones. But those are the only ones that I know about. So, yeah. Here's the sides top and the back. Highly inventive, wildly funny, says Jack Garner of Rochester Democrat and Chronicle. So, yep. The film, the film is from, the film itself is from 1999, but this edited version is from 2001. This film has not been rated, which this movie was originally rated PG-13, but New Line edited it to get a to make it a family-friendly version. Ink label, March 29th, 2001. Which, which would have been just... Um, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 27 days after my first birthday. Okay, okay. Up next, I got two two more movie time tapes for the collection. This One of them is an MGM UA movie time, and the other one's an MGM movie time. So the first one is the Night Tonight 7 MGM UA movie time VHS of The Aviator. This is the, or the original version with Christopher Reeve, Roseanne Ar Arquette, Jack Warden, Sam Wanamaker... Scott Wilson and Teen Daly. Yeah. Here's the sides. The top and the back. A Savage Wilderness, an Unlikely Romance, an Unforgettable Adventure. So, yep. Sticker label. Printed on January 20th, 1998. And the other one is an MGM Movie Time tape. This is the 2000 MGM Movie Time VHS of Scanners. And just look at that terrifying artwork. Yikes. That, that is terrifying. But yeah. Here's the sides. The top and the back. First class, dark, intelligent, Artful and truly horrifying, says Los Angeles Times. And delivers the chills down your spine, heart in your throat. You can't watch, but dare you, darn't leave good, says Time. So, yeah. This film is, film is, the film itself is from 1980, and this is a classic uh, horror film. So, very cool to have the movie time re release of this film. Ink label. Print on June 12, 2000. Oh, and uh, this tape was also in the shrink wrap when I got it, but it was coming open from the top, so I just took the shrink wrap off of it already. So there you go, and... Ah! That is, that is, that is just terrifying. Anyway. 
the the next three tapes are the Little House on the Prairie are from the Little House on the Prairie Time Life uh, Collector series. I have I found volumes six, seven, and twenty. So as you can see, oh six, oh seven, twenty. So here's volume six, which has the Craftsman and the Christmas They Never Forgot. So very, very cool that this one has one of the Christmas episodes. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. And uh, the Craftsman is a 1978 episode, and the Christmas They Never Forgot is a 1981 episode. And this VHS is from 1992. Vertical sticker label, no printing, and the recording tab. Since it's a good times tape, we know what it has at the end. Here's volume 7, which has A Harvest of Friends and At the End of the Rainbow. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. Uh, Harvest of Friends is a 1974 episode, and At the End of the Rainbow is a 1975 episode. And this is a 1993 VHS. Vertical sticker label, no print date recording tab. Again, good times tape, so we know what it has at the end. And volume 20, which has the Odyssey and the Wedding. Here's the sides, top, back. Both of these episodes are from 1979, and this is a Night's Night 4 VHS. So we went from Night's Night 2 to Night's Night 3 to Night's Night 4. Kind of cra kind of crazy, if you ask me. St vertical sticker label, no print date recording tab. Again, good times tape, so we know what it has. And the and this stack is gonna fall over, so I'm just gonna. Stack them over here instead. This next tape is from Platinum Disc Corporation. This is Bonanza. TV, TV Classics Bonanza. Four episodes over three hours. Starring Lorne Green, Michael Landon, Dan Blocker, and Pernell Roberts. And, uh, of course, Michael Landon was also in Little House on the Prairie, which I just showed you guys. So, yeah. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. These are the original TV episodes of Bonanza. As an added bonus, we're featuring the music Return to the Ponderosa. So, yeah. The episodes in this tape are Showdown, San Francisco Holiday, The Mill, and Escape to the Ponderosa. Four episodes, collect all 31 episodes. This is a... To total running time is 200 minutes. And this is a 2003 VHS. Sticker label and no print date. And this tape is obviously in EP mode. Well, well it has to be, because to fit 200 minutes of content on a single tape. It would obviously have to be either in LP mode or EP mode. And this one I'm pre this one I'm pretty sure will have the static rule at the end. The Strange V chess ending. Since pretty much most of my other Platinum Disc Corporation tapes have the uh, static rule at the end. Okay. This next one's another this next one is another Paramount book box tape. The nineteen eighty one V chess of the Greatest Show on Earth. Cecil B. DeMille's The Greatest Show on Earth. Starring Betty Hutton, Cornel, Cornel Wilde, Charlton Heston, Dorothy Lamore, Gloria Graham, and Jimmy Stewart. We have Henry Wilcoxon, Lily Bedger, Lawrence Tierney, Emmett Kelly, and Q. Culia Antoinette Concello. So yeah, here's the sides, 
top, the bottom, and the back. So, yep. This is a 1952 film. Yeah. And... There's that. And this slides out. If I can get it. Oh, there we go. Sticker label, tan lid, and end label. And printed in the third week of 1986. So this is a so this is a reprint. And it has and it's got this orange sticker on it, so we all know what this one will have at the end. So there you go. This next next one, you guys are you guys are gonna like this one. This is very rare. This is another copy of Bridge on the River Kwai. This one being the widescreen edition tape from 1993. Digitally restored from digitally remastered from newly restored film elements includes the original theatrical trailer. Yep, winner of seven Academy Awards. Best Picture, 1957. Director, actor, screenplay, cinematography, editing, and music scoring. And it stars William Holden and Alec Guinness. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. See, it's got somebody's address sticker on there, but it's scribbled out. Yep, and this is a 1957 film, obviously. 1957 film renewed in 1985. Now, what's rare about this copy? You guys are going to like this. On the count of three, I will show you. One, two, three. Yep, this is an EP mode VHS. You can see that right there. That's how much film is on this side. And you can see nothing on there. So yeah, this is a... This is an EP mode VHS copy. Wow. I cannot believe I found this. When I when I saw this tape, I just knew I had to get it. This is extremely rare. I am definitely, 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 definitely keeping this tape. Yeah. And this was printed in the 33rd week of Night's Night 5, and it's got this kind of it's got this kind of barcode on it. And there's another address sticker on the bottom of the tape. So yeah, and because this is an EP mode, we all know what this will have at the end. So yeah. That is... Is that rare or what, guys? I'm definitely keeping that. Alright. Next one is a Good Times tape. This is the 1909 VHS of Harry and Walter Go to New York with James Caan... Michael Caine, Diane Keaton, and Elliot Gould. Comedians turn to crime. Yeah. Here's the sides. The top and the back. This movie's rated PG. This is a 1976 film. This is a Columbia Pictures film. So this was one of the Columbia Pictures films that Good Times bought the, v bought the home video rights to in the late 80s. Sticker label, no print date, recording tab. We all know what this will have at the end. And again, there is just a little bit of mold on this tape. Hopefully it'll still play fine, but with some minor damage. Next one is a Republic Pictures tape. The 1989 VHS of A Man Alone. With Ray Millen, Raymond Burr, and Lee Van Cleef. Yep. Here's the sides. The top and the back. This is a 1955 film. There's an ambulance or something blaring out. There's a there's a there's an ambulance or something blaring outside. That's not good. Someone must have gotten hurt. Anyway, 
sticker label and no print date. There you go. Okay. This next one's a Fox videotape. The Night Side 2 VHS of The Story of Roof. Yep. It's got someone's uh, address sticker on there again. Yeah. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. The inspiring story of a woman's devotion. Oh, oh, hold on, guys. Sorry, guys. I had a little had a little itch down there. Anyway, uh, 1960 film renewed in 1988. Sticker label printed in the 49th week of 1992. And it's got pretty much the same barcode as the Bridge on the River Quiet tape that I just showed you. Although this one although this one's really beat up as you can see. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, next one is a Warner Brothers Cheesy Shield tape. The Night Tide 3 VHS of Man in the Wilderness with Richard Harris. The Savagery of Nature Against the Will of One Man. So, yep. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. He's dead, they thought. He's dead, they hoped. Sheesh. This is a 1971 film. Yep. Cheesy Shield. Sticker label. Printed on January 31st, 1995. This, this next one is a MC Universal Home Videotape. The 1990 VHS of The Great Walder Pepper with Robert Redford. A, jo a George Roy Hill film. This is a 1975 film. Your sides. The top and the back. Yep. Home video version. Some music rescored. So, yeah. Sticker label and end label, which are from 1988 for some reason. Printed in the 34th week of 1990. Next one is a RKO collection tape. The 1989 VHS of My Favorite Wife with Irene Dunn and Cary Grant. Original studio version. And if you may remember, I I do I do have this movie, but but the copy I had was the color version of the film. This here is the original black and white version of the film. So obviously I had to get this because I'm I much rather I I most I much rather prefer to have the original black and white version as opposed to the crappy colorized version. So I am gonna get rid of the colorized version and keep this one instead because the black and white version's way better. Here's the sides, the top and the back. Nineteen forty film renewed in nineteen sixty eight. Virgil ink label and no print date. Plus, this is an this one's in SP mode, whereas my 
colorized version was in EP mode. So, yeah. And the last tape I got is a two-tape box set from Questar. This is Hollywood's comedy classics. So, yeah. It says, Hollywood's comedy classics, great comedy teams and legends. Uh, features Lauren Hardy, Evan Costello, The Three Stooges, The Marx Brothers, Charlie Chaplin, W.C. Fields, and Bob Hope. So it's got it's got two tapes, great comedy teams and great comedy legends. So yeah, and here's the bottom, which has a address sticker crossed out again. So yeah. This, it does, I'm not sure what year this tape is, this, I do, I do not know what year this is from. Well, it says, actually, I, I think, is it, this is actually, I think this is from 1993, because it says, copyright 1993, NMP right there, and... Copyright 1993 WC Fields Productions Inc. So I think this is a Night Tide 3 VHS. So here's tape one, which has Hollywood, which is Hollywood's comedy teams. Lauren, Har Lauren Hardy, the Three Stooges, the Marx Brothers, and Abbott and Costello. Sides. Top, which has no writing, and the back. This has uh, Three Stooges, Disorder in the Court from 1936. Lauren Hardy, The Flying Deuces from 1931. Uh, Edmund Costello, Live on TV from 1950 through 1954. And Marx Brothers Special from 1931. And see, it's got that same address sticker again. Ink label and no printing. It has the address. It has the person's address on the tape as well. And here's tape two, which is the Hollywood's comedy legends: Charlie Chaplin, W. C. Fields, and Bob Hope. Sides. Top, which this time the address sticker's on the top, and there's no actual writing on the top. And the back. This has a. Uh, 1 a.m., which is a which is a silent Charlie Chaplin tour from 1916. Uh, the Stolen Jewels from from 1933, and uh, which I I think that's I think that I think that's I think that's a Lauren Hardy short actually. The Stolen Jewels, but I could be mistaken. Uh, w. C. Fields, The Dentist from 1933. Bob Hope going Spanish from 1930 and Bob Hope's going Spanish from 1934. So yeah, pretty much everything on these uh, two tapes are like public domain stuff, stuff that's on other releases. But I I got this because it it's a pretty cool set, so I just got it. Ink label and once again it's the same person's address on the tape as well on this tape as well. And this one does have a print date, the 41st day of 1993. So, yeah, and we just double check. No, there is no print down the first tape. Just. So, there you go, guys. Hope you all like this, and peace out.